Ready? We are here for a tour of Mankato Makerspace. Hi. With Rick. I'm Rick. How's it Show going? Show us what you got. Okay. Well, this is the Mankato Makerspace. Um, right now, we're kind of in the middle open work area. It's for lots of things. We have a we have a hula hoop troupe that comes in, and they use the middle space for for their practices. They're turning into a fire troupe here pretty soon. Uh, so they're going to use the back parking lot once they get the, put the fire out and start spinning around. It's for large projects like large-scale sculpture for fish house projects or trailer projects, that kind of thing. Um, we've also got a little kitchenette over here where you can just make a pizza or warm up your leftovers. So you don't have to leave in the middle of a project or something. Um, and also Moody Bees has a honey stand here. Nice. It's the only place in Mankato where you can get beeswax unless you see Kaylee at a, at a uh, farmer's market or something. Okay. Okay. Come on over here. We'll show you. Um, sometimes we get stuff in that's just not usable for us, or we have doubles or triples or something. So this is our garage sale area. Um, most of it's in pretty good shape. Some of it's as is, but uh, yeah, fun stuff. Hmm. Right through this door, we've got our quiet space. This is the textiles department, leather working, uh, it's the library, it's the classroom, it's for if you need to just chill out, take a break and get in some air conditioning. Um, we've got an industrial serger right here. We've got all kinds of materials people can buy to make their projects with over in the corner. Um, this beauty is an industrial sewing machine and it does leather and canvas work and things. In fact, it does eight layers of heavy duty canvas at once. Oh and I'll tell you what, it sounds like a Sounds like a Buick rolling down the road. You hear that? That's Smooth. nice. Smooth. Yeah. Okay. okay, we're good again. Okay. So we've got a loom all strung up. It took 15 hours to get that loom strung up, and people are doing patterns on there. Um, it's for cloth making and rug making, whatever you want to do, but that was quite the chore. But people can just come in and do some stuff on there, learn some patterns, no big deal. And then this is... 3D the printing, yeah. It makes all sorts of little plastic things. They've got all kinds of different filaments. Um, this thing in particular has so many weird shapes on it that uh, if it can print this well, it can print anything well. Okay. So, so what program do you use for this? You're asking the wrong guy. I'm not a, I'm not a 3D printer. <laughs> That's Daniel, right? That's that Daniel, yeah. I think some of those, like Inkscape, I think has a 3D capability. And then I think so, too. Something. And there are times where you can get like a 3D scanner and just scan an object that you already have and bring it up as a, as a file and then start printing off of that. Okay. Something so like that's that. fun. Yvonne okay. has one of those 3D scanners. Oh. This is the um, so over here, we have our cubbies, which people turn into their lockers. And this is like the beginning woodworking 101 lesson. You get to learn how to use the table saw and the chop saw. You get to keep your tape measure and stuff straight in there. Um, the city told us that we couldn't have a permanent staircase. Oh. So we rigged it up onto a, uh, onto a winch system and we could pull the stairs up and down. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and up there is just storage. Just storage up there, yep. Okay. Uh, this is the woodworking shop. We're going kind of lathe crazy. We've got five lathes in here. This one's got a bowl on it right now. But sometimes we make bowling pins. Sometimes it's weed vases. Sometimes it's colored pencil embossed lamps. That's pretty neat, that huh? That's awesome. So oh my gosh. that's pretty fun. Um, but just a general woodworking shop. You can do anything you need to. Table saws and sanders and more lathes and drill presses and everything's hooked up to a couple of dust collectors to keep the dust down. We also have metal working and other things in the shop that could be dangerous. It's too dusty. Wow. And a lot of this is donated. Almost all, all of it's donated. Everything in here has been donated. Yeah. In fact, we're a 501c3 nonprofit. So anything that's donated to us, uh, money, tools, time, it's all tax deductible. So okay. in fact, the memberships, if you if you're if you have your own business selling, making and selling things, it's also tax deductible because it's a business expense. Oh, okay, good to so know. The, the wood piles get out of control, but there's a lot of free materials for use around here, or there's things that you can buy. It depends on what it is. You just gotta ask before you use something. Okay. Okay. So our paint booth guy, pull up before we go in the paint booth. Oh right. We gotta see the gotta see the air intake holes. Like yeah. these guys are just crazy, right? Who did this? Uh, Dustin and I did these this door. Nice. I had him come up with the pattern and I put the door together. Uh, Kendrick's oh, putting Kendrick. the murals on everything. He's got a big old grizzly bear over there. And he also did the smoke monsters on that wall over there. By the pit. 
Right, right. He is so tall. So, this room is fully ventilated. You might want to stay at the edge there again. Um, so this layer is fully ventilated. So all the stink stays in and goes out to the outside of the building. You can do spray paint murals. Uh, we got a guy refinishing and making some chairs for his daughters right now. One's going to be a Minnie Mouse chair. The other one's going to be a Trolls chair. Um, and then, uh, and then, <clears throat> then you can stain and lacquer your wood projects, right? Nice. You can spray paint or finish off your welding projects. It doesn't matter what you do. If it's stinky, you bring it in here. Gotcha. Okay? Perfect. So over here, we've got a six color, four place screen printing press. Um, this is pretty great. You can make t-shirts, you can make posters. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. You just gotta get your screens burnt. And within a month or so, we'll have the capability to burn screens here. Okay. So that's gonna be big. We just gotta get that printer fired up and that light table working better. Okay. So, soon but, enough, yeah. that'll happen. Okay. Um, full sound system. <laughs> It's not set up right now, we use that a lot for events and things. Okay. Uh, this is kind of the pride of the shop. This is our Glowforge Pro. It's uh, it's pretty great. It's, it thinks it's a computer printer. Um, you can do anything you want to on it. We've been making boxes uh, with glueless joints. We've been, even this one's even out of uh, quarter inch oak. And you can see oh. how tight those corners are. Yeah. yeah. You gotta get crazy. it just right for it to slide in there. So. It's, it cuts with the width of a human hair. That is awesome. And you can do it. And also, we've been doing a lot of uh, engraving and on things. And this is just like burning onto wood. You could do it. You could put your face on a piece of toast. You can you can cut out of a sponge. You can cut out of acrylic. You can cut out of all sorts of things. You just have to remember that it's uh, you can't have any you can't have any chlorine involved in the process because otherwise, big green flames will shoot out of here and. Poison gas will fly all over the place, so gonna test the chlorine. Okay, yeah, right. Um, this area is our beginnings of our rock polishing department. And we lapidary. Don't, lapidary. Yeah. We're still waiting on our cutter to come in and our tumbler to come in. Okay. We've already got a bunch of agates, and we've got three different kinds of polishers. So, oops, there you go. You know, stuff like that. You polish up rocks. Back in this corner, it's glass blowing. You can see there's a demonstration going on right now. Also, blacksmithing and welding is all over here. We've got a big, we've got a big uh, arc welder. We've got a TIG welder. We've got a MIG welder. We've got a cutting torch. We've got a smoke eater. We've got a coal forge. Um, cutters and pounders and drills and smashers. And uh, right over here, Robin is learning how to. This is our first, very first glass blowing lesson. Now we're gonna take the taper that you made and turn it into a loop. Um, I will do the first loop and then I will let you do a loop and you can even do a taper again because I'll melt your loop back together. <laughs> Pretty exciting. So to get a membership, well, or to get more information, so uh, MankitoMakerspace.org, just, just how it sounds. Um, um, everything's on the computer, you get, you, you can look up classes, you can get your memberships, you can, a, well, we're taking a virtual tour of the shop right now. So. Right, right. right. It'll be there. All right. Cool. Let's head out to the back oh, yeah. here. You know what? Let's look at the ceramics before my battery goes out. Okay. Yeah. Ceramics is um, falling a little bit behind the rest of the shops. We just haven't found the right stuff for ceramics yet. We've got two wheels. They're both kick wheels, right? So you get them going with your foot. Oh, this yeah. one's got an electric assist on it. But it's a long ways away. Kids can't do this, and old people can't do this, and yeah. people with disabilities can't do this. So we're, we're writing a grant right now so that we can get this place space aged. You know nice. what I mean? We need nice. some fresh kilns that you can program. We need some. We need two more wheels that are fully electric that you can slide a wheelchair right up to. Right. And then this is going to be a state of the art. Oh, ceramics, very good. Area. And then the so here's kilns. the kiln room back in here. Yep. These kilns are awesome, but they're but they're old and they're small, and so we gotta we gotta get a few more bigger, better ones. Uh, easily, two people can help throw these kilns in, a, in an hour. Oh, really? You know what I mean? Okay. So That's we're working cool. on that. Huh? 
And then storage space for your stuff while it's waiting to be killed fired. And um, full water in the back, more murals. Mike Cimino did that big mural on the side. Yeah. And then back here, we've got access to the 70,000 square foot parking lot. And it's going to be paved with the spring at some point. Right now, we just uh, we have fires back here. We have grill outs back here, cool signs back here. Um, but very soon, we're going to have makers meetups or makers bazaars back here, which is once a month during the nicer months. Anybody who's a member gets a free vending spot. There'll be a taco truck in the middle. There'll be bands inside. Social hour for a Saturday once a month. Nice. So nice. that's it. Hope you liked it. Look forward to it. Thank you. Yep.